What's up everybody? It's your boy Coke Daddy coming at y'all with another video. In this video, we're gonna get in my predictions for week 10. Before we start, hit that like and subscribe button for me. And let's ride. Well, we're gonna we'll start off with my week nine results. I went eight and two last week. That's great. I prefer to go 10 and 0, but I haven't done that yet this year. So hopefully week 10 we'll get it. But Let's go ahead and start on week 10. First off, we got Kansas State against Texas. Texas giving up four and a half points. Last week, Texas, uh, they did a thing against BYU. I didn't know if they was gonna cover. I said I would've took BYU with the points. But they showed out without Quinn Ewers. They still did their thing against BYU. This game might be a little bit more tough, but I'm definitely gonna take Texas in this game and I'll take Texas to cover. And we got Notre Dame at Clemson. Clemson's getting three points. I'm taking Notre Dame. I'm taking Notre Dame to cover. Clemson, they're done. That ship has sailed for them. I've been saying for the past couple of years that they've been on the decline. Some people have argued, some people haven't. But this year, the proof is in the pudding. They're four and four right now. They got Notre Dame this week. They still got North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia Tech. There's a legit chance Clemson does not make a bowl game. But this week, I got them losing. That'll put them at four and five. I got Notre Dame winning and covering. Then we got Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. <clears throat> Last week, I took Oklahoma. And I don't know if I said it in my video, but I got a friend that's an Oklahoma fan, and I tried to warn him. I told him, I was like, don't let Kansas goddamn upset you. Well, they did. Kansas beat Oklahoma last week. Oklahoma's coming off that loss now. And I mean, Oklahoma's been playing good ball all year. Even against Kansas, you know, they play good ball. Shit happens sometimes. In-state rivalry right here. I got Oklahoma winning it. They're giving up six points. I'll take Oklahoma giving up the points too. I think they're gonna bounce back from that loss and put some work in on Oklahoma State. Then we got Missoula, Georgia. Georgia's giving up 16. I'm taking my dogs. I'm taking my dogs to cover. Mizzou, yeah, they rank. They only got one loss. Shit's looking good for them. It's over, though. We're in November now. All that bullshit, it's over. It's, it's crunch time now. Georgia's about to hunker down, and they're covering that spread. And we got Penn State against Maryland. Maryland's getting 10 points. <clears throat> you know, on paper, it looks like this should be a good even matchup. But I got Penn State winning, dominating, covering that 10 points. Maryland, I mean, I fucks with Maryland. I like what they're trying to build over there. But when it comes to them playing Penn State or the Ohio State or the fucking Michigans, they just don't, they just don't do it. They fold up in those games and I got them folding up again in this one. Then we got Kansas at Iowa State. Iowa State's giving up two and a half. I'm taking Iowa State to win head up. I'm taking Iowa State to cover Kansas. I give them their props, especially after that win against Oklahoma and the season they had last year and then the way the season's going uh, this year. But I got Iowa State winning it and covering. I like their defense. I think their defense is definitely going to be able to do enough, contain Kansas enough for them to get the win. Then we got Washington against USC. USC is getting three and a half, I mean, giving up three and a half points. This should be a shootout. I'm taking USC to win it, I'm taking USC to cover. I uh, I mean, they could definitely lose this game for sure, but I just, after two losses already for USC, I don't uh, I don't got them losing this game. I just don't see it happening, especially not at the house. But then we got LSU versus Bama. Bama's giving up three, and this is the toughest game on this, uh, for this week for me to pick from. I want to take LSU, but they ain't got no kind of defense. And I mean, they got an offense, but Bama's got defense. And Bama's at, got a little bit of an offense, and LSU ain't got no defense. And Bama's at the house looking for a revenge game. I'm taking Bama to win it, taking Bama to cover three points. Then we got Miami against North Carolina State. North Carolina State's getting four points. They're coming off of that win against Clemson. Miami's coming off of their overtime win against Virginia. I'm taking Miami though. I don't know why. I honestly can't say, but I just don't. My gut telling me to take Miami, so I'm taking Miami. 
to win and to cover. Then we got UCLA against Arizona. I wanted to take Arizona. I was right on them last week against uh, Oregon State. They're getting two and a half points. But I'm going to take UCLA. You know, Arizona's got a very a pretty solid defense and solid offense too. But I think Chip Kelly, he's going to come up with some creative shit. And it's going to end up Arizona ain't going to be able to have nothing to stop it. And UCLA is going to walk away with the win. And they're only giving up two and a half points. So if you're picking UCLA to win head up, you might as well take them with the points. 